All right, guys, just before you start watching this video, I did want to say for just the first hole, I wasn't actually recording my gameplay, but I've used the PSN's like rewind feature to get the gameplay from that. So the quality for the first hole is going to be pretty poor. And also my mic was on on the PSN uh, recording as well. So unfortunately, um, you'll be hearing like dual or I'll probably just mute the gameplay completely for the first hole and play some music or something like that. Or maybe just actually cut out the first hole entirely, but I'll, I'll still play the intro for you guys right now because I was talking about some important stuff. Uh, but anyway, let's uh, let's jump into the video. Apologies for that. Um, it's because my new stream deck isn't working, but I'll explain that in the video anyway. So cheers for watching. See you later. All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another EA Sports PGA Tour career mode video. And we are back with moving day at the Masters. So I'm very excited about this one. We're chasing Tyrrell Hatton down, who's 15 under par. And we are playing alongside Patrick Cantley. Uh, we're both 11 under, I think. Or is Patrick 12 under? I can't exactly remember. But we're back for moving day at the Masters. The Masters is coming up very shortly in real life now. Um, with just It's under a month away now. So hopefully we'll hear some new, uh, new news on updates for this game. John Ha huh and Tyrrell Hatton will be teeing off shortly. But me and my boy Patrick Cantley here. We've played so much together. We have to be best friends by now, surely. Or bitter rivals. Um, it's time to go. It's time to play. It's time to go low. Let's do this thing, baby. 66-67 for me to start off at Augusta. And now I've learned my lesson from hitting driver last time and hitting it into the bunker. That you have to hit three wood on this hole every single time. And that's an absolutely perfect start there. Just a beautiful ball flight on that one. Gorgeous stuff. Right down the middle. 280 odd yards. And we leave ourselves 176 yards in. It's going to be an iron. A mid iron for me. And uh, I'm very excited. I'm very excited, boys. Let's do this thing. Patrick Cantley, 11 under alongside me there. Okay, that's what I thought. He's the same score as me. Cantley down the left side he goes. And that's okay. His his driver goes the same distance as my three would. Loser. No, it's about hitting it straight, guys. It's not about how long you hit it. It's not about how long it is. It's about how straight it is. <laughs> yeah, boy. Oh, slow. Might still work out, though. Go! Chase! Good shot. Good shot. Below the hole. And we'll take that. 16-footer up the hill to start off here. Round one at Augusta. Round three at Augusta. Well, not round one at Augusta. Uh, round three at Augusta is underway. And we're off to a good start here. Cantley as well. Looking like a pretty decent golf shot. We give ourselves two chances here on the first hole. Let's go. Both around uh, 16, 17 foot away. And both good birdie chances. Let's see if Cantley can make his and put some pressure on me early. Obviously, Tyrrell Hatton and John Ha are going to have a little bit of an off day if we want to be leading at the end of moving day. But it's definitely entirely possible. Cantley misses. And that's good for us. Obviously, we need to be out playing Cantley as well because going into the final round, we want to have a, a decent lead over Cantley with the way the AI play in the final round at the at Augusta. I swear to God, it's, uh, it's like they consume steroids beforehand or something. I don't know. It's weird. But anyway, let's make it. No, same thing as Cantley. I just overplayed the break a tiny bit. Good efforts, though. Tap in pars on the first is never too, too bad, really. Tap in pars, and we move on to the second, which is obviously the reachable par five, and potentially make an eagle there. We'll see what happens. Cantley. Well done, son. I've got a feeling something special is going to happen today, like hole in one, albatross, something. I've got a feeling something like that is going to happen today, or, or like a hole out. Just something like that. I don't know. I don't know why, but I've, I feel like I've got a, a premonition. I just realized I'm not recording my gameplay. Holy shit, I'm stupid. You are so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. So I'm going to have to use the, the gameplay. Might not be the same quality. I'm going to be using the PSN quality gameplay for the first five minutes there. My absolute apologies on that one. Um, that, that is completely on me. I'm an absolute moron. It's because my Steam Deck, or my Stream Deck, rather, doesn't work anymore since this new update. Like, the record button, like, the OBS integration doesn't work anymore. So I'm used to just pressing the button on my Steam Deck and getting it to, to record. And now that just doesn't work anymore. Like, I don't get it. I don't understand it, but it is what it is, and that's way out to the right. Needs this to big bounce this to the left. We need this for a big bounce right to the left. Side. Come on. All right, that's perfect. But now yeah, we're recording. Quality should be as good as ever here. here. Well 1440p. Um, yeah, apologies on that. That's so annoying. Because I was actually thinking earlier, I was like, I, I'm going to do this at some point soon. Like when I was recording my FIFA video, I did it to start. But then like 20 seconds in, I noticed I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. Like before I'd even started like my intro. 
Um, but this time I just didn't even think about it. I just went right into it. And that is absolutely ridiculous. God damn it, that's annoying. That is genuinely very annoying. All right, it is what it is. Quality shouldn't be too bad anyway after... I think they've got better at the, the recording here. And, and, and it's a good thing I can, like, record the last five minutes that I played and stuff. That's handy as hell. The flashback system on uh, on PSN is quite handy. Ooh, that stays out of uh, of the bunker. Lucky, lucky Patrick. The luck of the Irish there for St. Patrick's Day, son. It's gone now. So you ain't got luck no more, Patrick. And he's not Irish. You know, he's got an Irish name. Good old Patrick. Uh, where the hell's the pin? Okay, down there to the right. Middle of the green. I like that. I like that. We can make that work. I like that pin position. How about we get our albatross here, boys? What, what do we think? 173 is what I want to be playing this, minimum. 172, 171, that works. Watch this and watch, watch it good. That's a big underswing, but also a fast. Might actually even out. Good chance at one. How about an albatross right here? No, but it's a good chance for an eagle. I'll tell you that much. Wasn't that great a swing, but we'll take it. We kind of balanced the two out by hitting an underswing and fast at the same time. Patrick Cantley needs to get up and down for a birdie, whereas we have a nine-foot putt for an eagle. Cantley bunker to bunker, maybe. Woo you lucky boy, Patrick. You're a lucky boy, son. Is he going to chip it in for the birdie? Let's find out. It's quite a poor start for Patrick if he doesn't. He doesn't. Okay. I don't know that I've ever seen the AI chip in, to be quite perfectly honest. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, down the hill, right to left. Quite significantly right to left, you have to say. Like this much, maybe? Two percent overswing like that? Fucking hell! What are you talking about? Didn't turn in whatsoever. I think it's dead straight up the hill. I'm just gonna bang it in there. Yes. Good putt. Good birdie. We'll take it. We game one on Patrick and we get closer to the leaders. It's all you can ask for, really, alright? It's all you can ask for. Are the leaders gonna be directly behind us? I think they might be. I think they might be. Should I go for it? There's no point in me going for this, actually. It's zero chance we're getting there, so I'm just going to take a hybrid and bang it on down there. No reason to be uh, getting stupid with it. Perfect. Absolutely perfect little fade there, and that's going to be quite glorious indeed. Huntley smashes it out there. Well done, Patrick. No problems there. That's gonna wind up safely in the Lovely fairway. stuff, Patrick. Lovely stuff, mate. That's not enough. Okay. Uh could play a little like knockdown here. Could be that could be a shot, you know. Could be a shout and it could be a shot. A little overswing maybe. Oh, that's too much overswing. <laughs> we need this to zip back almighty. Oh. No, nah, that's disappointing. Just the fast kill there. I was t to be fair, I think I was aiming too far right anyway. There's just no need for me to be aiming that far right, but it is what it is. Good number. From the fairway, we check in with Noda. Well, it's a short shot on paper, but this shot will definitely embarrass you if you don't pay attention. Green is slopes of Hold on, Patrick. Good shot. Better than ours, at least. I don't know if I should chip this or putt this or what. It is downhill the entire way. I think I can make this work with a little chip. Play a little chip. I'm gonna literally carry this two yards. I'm not even trolling. Watch and learn how the greats do it, huh? No, great putt, great chip, brother. <laughs> great chip. Eleven inches, top in par. We'll take that all day long. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Remember, front nine needs to be like two under. Like you don't need to go crazy on the front nine. Front nine's quite difficult here at Augusta. Like two, three, four under is is a really good score on the front nine. And the back nine is where you can really start to light up the course. I find. Patrick Cantley makes a birdie, and it's a good one. We're both one under through three. We're both twelve under. For the tournament. He's gonna get it to one under for his round I just watched two episodes of Full Swing this morning. The uh, Fitzpatrick Brother episode. The Fitzpatrick Brothers episode. And the Tom Kim episode. So now I've got the three Ryder Cup episodes left to go. I'm excited to really kind of delve into those ones. Because those are kind of the main ones that I was excited for. But I wanted to watch all of it at the same time. So yeah, quite a, quite glad I did to be honest. I think it's been a really good, uh, good season of Full Swing. I think overall it's been a really good uh, season. All the episodes I've, I've enjoyed. And that's a good shot from ya boy, Patrick Cantley. Um, honestly, this whole par is completely okay. fine. I'll take par all day long and just run to the next tee. 
It's as simple as that. Now, we need to be careful because this is just a runner of a golf hole. Like it is. It's plain and simple. An absolute runner. I am genuinely serious thinking I hit a 5-iron here. Is that crazy? Play a little fady 5-iron. Fuck it. Let's go. No, it's the opposite. Just drew completely on me. That's crazy. It's a six mile an hour win, but uh, that, that was definitely more of a, of a pull than a, of than a draw. Green. That's for sure. That's unfortunate. Man. That is genuinely dump, unfortunate. Dump, All right, let's make this work, though. Hole. Sit. Sit. Really? Fucking overswing the fasts are killing me here, man. I've been playing too much 2K. That's the problem. They're slow with their fucking speedy ass swing. Ah, uh, yay, 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 yay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Here it comes. That was a long one in for Birdie. And he will definitely not say no to that. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. He'll not say no to it. I'll say no to it. Clutch pot, man. Really clutch pot for a par. That's huge for the program. Because if it's a two-shot swing there, that's trouble. Fee now gets the 15 under. And he's played 15 holes, so he's having a stormer around here in round three. All right, we head to Magnolia. Tough hole. Let's just get a, get a par or better here and run to the next tee. It's a difficult one, this one. Cantley hits it down the middle of the fairway, does he? Oh, he gets away with it. He gets away no with it, Patrick. Well done, fairway. son. Well done, Patrick. Good job, lads. Loser. Am I right, guys? Good shot. All right, good shot. We should be past Patrick and put ourselves in prime position to uh, give ourselves a good uh, good shot here. This, this hole is just very difficult. The green is the... Toughest part about this hole. Like, there's so many, like, if you land it here, it swings off to the right and goes off the green. If it lands there, it swings off the left-hand side and goes off the green. Like, there's so many, like, like, look at this one. That's not going to get there at all. It's going to come all the way back down. You have to be so precise, like, with the with the distance control on this one. Because you can really easily um, hit a bad one here. I'm going to hit... A pitching wedge here. I know that seems extreme, but I think with the wind behind us, pitching wedge could be perfect here. Come on, talk dirty to me. Get up. Oh, it's really good. It's really good. That's how precise you have to be. And that's perfect. Good birdie chance on this hole. And a birdie chance on this hole from that range is quite rare. So we'll take that. We'll take that all day long, sunshine. Come on. Patty Ice. Let's see it, son. Good shot from Patrick. Is it going to stop? No, it's not. It's off the green, and Patrick Cantley now is going to have to chip in for his par. And like I said, I haven't seen the AI chip in before. Maybe they're going to shock me and surprise me and chip it in here. Am I really further away? It looks like he is, but okay. Breaks to the, like a slightly to the left. I wouldn't say there's much in this, to be honest. A little bit more than that, though. Damn it! A little bit more than that. Tap in par on this hole ain't too bad, though. And maybe we'll game one on Cantley if he doesn't chip it in. That's the goal, eh? Come on, Cantley, lad. Let's see it. For the people. He's putting it, though. That's a problem. Fuck. And he makes it. I still haven't seen an AI chip in it, at least, but... It's disappointing. Ah! Disappointing. One under. Patrick Cantley's two under. He's one shot clear of us. We need to just stick with him. Like I said, back nine's my nine, you know? Now the back nine is my nine. Par three, 180 par yards here at the sixth. I said I wanted to see something special today. I wanted to see a hole out or a hole in one. Can we get that? Let's find out. Patty Ice. That looks like it's really good. Is it going to spin? No. Good shot, though. 17 foot to the pit. Not bad at all. I don't know. I have a clue. A clubby hit, to be honest. But 75. Wins into us, but it's also downhill. I feel like 8-iron could work here. I feel like 8-iron could work here. That fast? Didn't feel that fast at all. I gotta be completely honest with you. That's gonna work, actually, though. Yeah, that's a great shot. <laughs> I don't think that's exactly how I intended it to go, but that works. That certainly works. 8 foot, 6 inches for a birdie here at the 6th. And watch Cantley make this before me, though. He's not gonna let me get away with one. He's not gonna let me get away with one as Patrick. He's going to be on it. I'm telling you right now, he's going to be on it all the rest of this round. I'm telling you, this is a, this is a problem. A huge problem. Patrick Cantley, I've already seen the last four. Holds a lot of putts, and this is a massive problem now.
What? Wait, 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 wait. I, I checked the grid, I swear it was turning me on. Did, did I just completely misread that? Yeah, I did. Why the fuck did I do that? What the fuck? Did I just zone out? Why did I think that it was turning the complete opposite way? Okay. Alright. All good. Tyrrell Hatton, 16 under. He takes the solo lead for now. Tyrrell Hatton looking for his first major championship. God, I cannot believe that. That is kind of heartbreaking. I've got to be honest with you. That is a... Uh, that's just annoying more than anything. But Patrick Cantley, 14 under now. He's got off to a hot start. Birdie three of his last four here. And we could be in trouble here. We could be in trouble. Down to the right. In she goes. See you later. And a missed fairway there. Oh no. I, sh I, sh I always hit three wood here and I, I never regret it. So I don't know why the hell I hit driver this time. Into the pine straw we go. All right, we should be okay. I think we'll be okay. Like, I don't think we have to deal with any trees or anything. Depending on where the pin is. If it's over to the left, we're completely fine. If it's over to the very right position, we might have a little bit of trouble. But I think it's on the... Oh, he clipped the tree. Clipped the tree and hit it really good, though. Goes all the way into the bunker. Okay. All right, this is our chance to gain one on Patrick now. Come on. Ain't no fucking reason we can. You understand that? Wow, it took me completely out of the pine straw. What the hell? Okay, I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. Thanks very much. I hate when it does shit like that, though. It's so annoying. That could be the best shot I've ever hit in my life. Go. Don't spin! No, it's going to come all the way off. Oh, fuck you, game. Come on. That's a cruel, cruel, cruel zip right there. That was so close to being perfect. I think the tiny way. slow just killed me. Completely killed me. Cantley hits a really good shot. That's going to go down where mine is too, surely. How does that stay there then? Come on. Bullshit. Fucking horseshit, man. This is a really difficult putt, by the way. would be a bonus if it goes in. You just need to make sure you get it there and give yourself a chance. Never up, never in. Never up, never in, and it was never up, That's but said, you know what? It's not a terrible putt. It's a good chance for par. Patrick Cantley's not going to miss a putt today. I can tell you right now, based off of the first six holes that I've seen here, he's not going to miss a putt today. Um, he's going to have these moments where he goes off and kind of has a little bit of a bad shot or puts himself in a tough position, but he'll always get up and down for the par. I'm telling you right now, this, this guy's going to be a real fucking problem today. Par, I'll take it. We're two shots behind Cantley and four shots behind the lead. We need to start making a move real soon if we want to be contending here on Sunday. The lead has gone back to 15 under at least. We're only three shots off the lead. But Cantley's the one I'm most worried about. i got to be honest with you. Cantley is the one I'm most worried about. Patty, Patty, ice. Have I ever had a playoff in a major? I'm not sure. I don't think I have. I think I've only had one or two playoff, period. Okay, nicely done set. 312 yards. Good shot. Good shot with the power drive, and that puts us in position A here. Into the wind, I'm not sure that's reachable. 263, it might be. With a high draw with a three wood, maybe, maybe we can get there. I don't know. Depends where the pin is. Is that pin up the front, or is it... I can't remember where it is for round two. I think it might be... I don't think it's back left. I think it's, like, the back middle portion of the green, right? It's probably, like, the toughest pin, because I find... Uh, yeah, it is. The, is it? Yeah, it's that back back position. All right. Do I just hit the hybrid straight up? I think I could hit the hybrid straight up, you know. We're going to gonna try and make it work. Let's go. Oh, please be good. I'm on my knees here. No! It clipped the tree, man. That was on such a good line. I don't believe it clipped that tree. It's still on the green, but we have a 50-foot putt instead of maybe a lot. It would have been a bloody 5 or a 10-foot putt. I don't know. It's hard to know what would have happened realistically, but God, that was on a really good trajectory. And Cantley's going to somehow make a birdie still. No doubt. Yep, tap in birdie for him. We need to somehow get it closer than that and just make sure that we get a birdie here at least. Breaks right pretty much the whole way. Like, this is going to be a very difficult one. And it's uphill. I'm going to have to go to, like, 90 foot. I reckon. Should be pretty good. Oh. 
It's nowhere near enough. Oh my god. It's 16 it, it? foot short. It seemed, like it, I knew it was uphill, but it didn't like seem like it was one of those extreme uphill ones. That's the crazy thing, man. Like it didn't seem like that. Wow, okay. Huge birdie putt, though. Come on. We need it that badly, and we get it. Because Cantley's not going to miss, and he's going to 15 under here. If we're three shots behind our playing partner, it puts us in a really tough position. And Cantley now, to tie the lead here. He makes it. Of course he makes it. He's four under through eight holes here is Patrick Cantley. He's on a mission to take another green jacket away from me. He's done it before by a shot. He's looking to take it away from me again. But I won't let you, Paddy Ice. Not this time. I'm going back to back at the Masters. Come on. Yeah, that is a wonderful tee shot, right where you want to be, here at hole number nine. Oh, yeah. Perfection personified, son. Right there in the middle of the fairway, puts us in position A. And that is as good as it gets right there, 98 yards left. We can kind of make our mind up what type of shot we want to play when we get down there. Maybe a knockdown, maybe a finesse, maybe a maybe a normal shot. Just play it low. I'm not sure yet. Cantley has a much longer shot in, but that's pretty good. Yep, he's not really making any mistakes, Cantley. You know, he's just tee to green, bang bang. Makes a few mistakes tee to green, but when he does, he makes up for it. You know, that's as simple as that. Really, this isn't enough. There's no doubt in my mind that that's not enough. I think a finesse shot is the type we want to play here. 118 might be a bit extreme, though. I mean, I could just take a little bit off the finesse. Let me say 109, something like that. That's so good. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, what a shot. That's beautiful. Beautifully done. Shot A of the day so far. Cantley has 15 foot for birdie and we have five. Come on. Patrick Cantley to close out a front nine of five under would be a hell of a front nine. And he's just making every single putt. He's made every single putt on the front nine. I don't think he's missed a putt. I'm not even trolling. Like, I don't think he's missed a single putt. Like that's crazy, man. That's crazy. There's not, not a lot you can do against that, you know? Doesn't matter how well you play, if, if the opponent's making every single putt, you're not going to beat them. It's it's as simple as that. But we're still in contention. Cantley takes the solo lead here. Um, just ridiculous putting on display from Cantley. And unfortunately, he takes the solo lead. And we are three shots back of Pat Patrick Cantley. Even if we hit a great shot like that, he's just going to steal our thunder by holding a 15-footer with bloody 20-foot of break. You know, it is what it is. It's the way the cookie crumbles, man. Oh, it's so frustrating, though. Can't lay from right to left. Down there he goes. And that's yeah, an good shot. shot. Good shot. The corner of the dog leg on. Stinger time. Stinger time, baby. What a shot. Oh, my God. I've never actually been over here with the Stinger. <laughs> it's always kind of come around and back down just in front of that bunker. But that's fine. I'll take that as well. Absolutely gorgeous. It is gorgeous, son. Can't lay up into the air. He goes and... Yeah, pretty good. Uh, what about one last? 125? It could work. yards left. To the flag, pin front This is gonna work perfectly. So Watch the shot. No way, it's that fast. Like God Almighty, I'm hitting, hitting some fast, and they are terrible. So unfortunate, man. Ah! I didn't even see where Cantley put it. I'm guessing he's close. Yeah, he's on the green, pretty close. He's probably gonna make that for a birdie and get to 17 under. You know? What is it? Seven yards. Come on, get in. Yes! We needed it! We needed it! Three birdies in a row! Three birdies in a row, and we, I feel like we still haven't gained anything on Cantley, though. That's the thing. If we don't gain on him here, we're never going to gain on him. 
Come on, Patrick. Miss it. Finally misses one. Come on. We're one shot back. I've just been keeping up, it feels like, but we're right in the mix now. Brilliant start to the back nine here. Three birdies in a row. Three birdies in a row for your boy. To par for Cantley. And we finally gain one on him there. All right. JT Poston and Cantley. Both 16 under. We're one shot back at 15 under as we head to the 11. One of the tougher holes on the course, you'd have to say. So if we can get through 11 and 12 at level par, we have a good chance to really start to uh, to catch the leaders on the next three holes after that. Oh, that's actually fine. I thought that was going way further left than, uh, than it actually is. That's perfect, in fact. It looked like it was kind of going way further left right off the rip, but that's perfect. Puts us in prime position, 163 yards, baby. Come on now. Come on now. That's how we do it. This is us. You know? Beautiful stuff. Cantley, let's see what you got, buddy. Come on. Come on now, Patty Ice. What you got for me there, brother? I want to see a bogey from you here, Patrick. I want to see a bogey from you. That's a perfect drive, though. Perfect drive from Patrick Iceman. Leave himself about 200 yards left. And honestly, I've seen the AI leave himself 240 here and still put it close. So I'm not really saying that it's advantage us or anything just yet because the AI tends to just put it close on this all I find. Yeah. Watch that. That's going to be all over the pin. Good lord. No, it's a little short. Okay. All right. He'll find a way to make that, I, su I assume, but... You know what? I, I'm going to put it closer and I'm going to make mine too. Simple as that. What about a pitching wedge here? Question mark? I think it could work. Need a touch of overswing. I underswung it. <laughs> I underswung it, but I also fasted it. That's going to be short. It's not bad, though. Honestly, pretty good shot. Uphill, straight putt, maybe. 21 foot, straight up the hill, into the cup. Let's see if Cantley makes a, a 39 footer before us, though. Before we head to the 12th. Patrick Iceman. Oh, sure. This is worst putt yet today. All right, it's breaking slightly right to left. I wouldn't say anything extreme. But slightly right to left the whole way. It's a little more. I keep under-reading those ones, man. Like, the ones that have barely any break, I underread them. They actually have more than you think, I find. That is something that I've found quite consistently that I'm doing now. Is underreading the... Oh, you fucking idiot! What are you doing here, man? That is just actually unacceptable. That is genuinely unacceptable. I wasn't even thinking about that one. I literally wasn't even thinking about it. I was like, this is a for fucking formality. And what do I do? I miss it. Oh my god. Like, you need to take something off those putts. Like, there's no point in hitting him that hard. I, I, like the, I always overswing those short putts, so you just gotta be aware that you're gonna do that. And that's a shocking PBFU. A shocking PBFU, man. Wow. And all of a sudden, after that hole, we're three shots off the lead again. From one shot off to three shots off in the, uh, in the blink of an eye there with a shocking three putt. Patrick Cantley looking to hit a good one here, and that looks really good. That looks really good from Cantley. That's a, that's a birdie, no doubt about it. All right, we need to match that. Simple as that, we need to match that. Pitching wedge finesse. I feel like that's still too much. What about a little 136 yard shot here? The only thing I'm worried about is the wind is kind of changing all the time. So I don't know what to do on that. We gotta send it. That's fast and under swingy. Might work out though. Might work out though. Oh, it works out for sure. Come on. Two foot three inches. Let's go. Come on. Two separate measurements for my editor, Sanakagi. Those look pretty big to me. Above average. They're enormous. Oh, Cantley makes it. Of course he does. Of course he does. And he ties the lead, but we stay within two at least now. Or get within two. I guess we were within three before. Two shots off. We're in this thing. That's all that matters. We're in this thing. And it's a stacked leaderboard. That's the good thing about now the AI on 100%. Like before, when the AI was on 90% or whatever, my AI playing partner would play well. But everyone else would be like 10, 12 shots off. Now it's like a stacked leaderboard here at Augusta, you know? I find like Augusta always has a better leaderboard, though. To 545. Like in the game. Like it always has a good tight leaderboard compared to some of the other ones. 
But okay. T-shot. Oh no. Should be fine. Should be fine. Should be perfect. Should be perfect now. We might have to play a little bit of a draw around the trees there, but we should be fine. 195 yards, iron play, iron in play there. And should be A-OK. -okay. Is Patrick Cantley going to be able to go for it is the question. He's got his wood out. He's got his wood out as if he is going for it. Patty Ice is going for it all right. Oh, no, he's not. Okay. It look, like, I'll get, why would you bait me like that? <laughs> he takes the wood out and still lays up. I'm going for it, guys. Don't even try and talk me out of this. 191 to the front. I need to hit a six iron. That's the problem. That is my biggest problem here. I need to hit the six iron, but I think we can make it work. 201. Let's make it work. Come on. Oh, it fucking overdraws like crazy. It's not bad, but why did that draw so much? All right, stays on the green. It's going to be a very difficult putt there. Like an extremely difficult putt to even keep on the green, I think. But I, mean, I probably should have laid up. I think it would have been easier to, to do that. All right, Cantley leaves himself about 10 foot down the hill for another birdie. All right, there's not much break in this is the only positive thing. I would say there's actually zero break in this. Maybe a touch below, but it's, it's downhill. That's what we got to be aware of. It's downhill. Too hard. Yeah, it was a little bit below. It was a little bit below. It was correct. Five foot five inches left for the birdie, though. Not honestly, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be way like difficult to stop going in the water almost, but it wasn't that bad. It was downhill, but not as downhill as I anticipated. Patrick Cantley for another birdie. Of course he makes it. He doesn't miss. He doesn't miss. Back-to-back -back birdies for Cantley to get to 18 under par, and this is turning into a problem now. It's above a little bit, but nothing crazy. I'm just going to smash it in there. Yes, sir. We match him, at least. We match him with back-to-back -back birdies on the last two. That bogey could haunt us, man. That bogey could haunt us come the end of the round. We're two shots off Cantley. He is seven under for the round. Incredible stuff from Patrick Cantley. Incredible stuff from Patrick Cantley. We're chasing him down like there's no tomorrow, but it's going to be difficult. There's no doubt about it. You know what I'm hoping? I'm hoping the Cantley and JT Poston are in the final group together, and that leaves me... To play with someone else. That would be awesome. Genuinely awesome. But I don't think it's going to happen, unfortunately. Because I'm going to pass JT Poston. And I'm going to I'm gonna be second, at least, come the end of this tournament. Because I know for a fact I'm going to have a banger of a finish here. In fact, I'm actually taking 3-wood here. Because I found that 3-wood works better on this hole. And my voice break, my voice break agrees. 3-wood. Get past Cantley anyway with our 3-wood. Because that's the big, big, big dick energy that I have. I wonder if you know that I know he's lying right now. All right, Cantley. Down to the right. Let's see it, son. The most attractive feature of this hole is the dynamic design. Cantley put one close again? No, but it'd probably make that somehow. 28 footer up the hill. Watch it make it. Guarantee it. <laughs> I'm just expecting him to make every single putt now, so I'm not disappointed when he does. You know, I'm like literally expecting every single putt to go in the hole, which is crazy to think about. God, that's such a bad shot, man. I'm flicking the stick forward way too much. That's pathetic, honestly. It hits that lady's shoe. 13 yards. I was 16 yards. I would have preferred I was 16 yards, honestly, but that is what it is. Great shot. Wonderful spinner. Tapping bird. Let's go. Or oh, tapping power, Rob. Not a tapping birdie. I wish it was a tapping birdie on this hole. If Cantley makes this, I'm logging off. I'm not even joking. Like I'm just, I'm just logging off. There's no point. If he's gonna make every single putt when he's on the green putting for a birdie, I'm just gonna quit now while I'm ahead. You know. What a putt. Just I thought it was in. I thought that was gonna be in. I gotta be honest with you. I thought we were gonna be logging off right there, but luckily we are not. Stay within two. The par five to come here. Par five, par three, par four, par four. My special moment that I had the premonition about still hasn't come. Nearly happened on the 12th. It's 
going to have to happen on one of these last two holes here. Come on. One of these last four holes, rather. But the next two holes are a par five and a par three. That's the only place I can get an albatross or a hole in one. But I did say or a hole out. Maybe. I still believe. We head to Firethorn. To be honest, you know, I'll take I'll take a nice little eagle here. I won't, I won't be mad at that. Cat is taking an iron because he's an absolute little pussycat. And he gets the tree with the iron because that's the way the cookie crumbles. Watch him lay up to uh, 100 yards. Put it close. Get a birdie. <laughs> it's going to happen. But... I'm getting an eagle, so I'm gaining one on him, so I don't give a shit about his pathetic little birdie. That's bad. Get lucky. Yes! Yes! Just what you want at this point. Alright, that is lucky. And it's position A now, son. Right there. Let's see your layup, Cantley. I'd love if he laid it up into the water, though. I don't even think he can reach the water, is the thing. <laughs> I genuinely don't think he can reach the water. Definitely not with an iron. Okay, leave himself, yeah. Wedge shot in. And iron, iron. Wedge and a birdie. <laughs> That's what he's uh, he's playing for. Not a bad play, I guess, if you're hitting your wedge as well. It's his second at 15. Underswan. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Go. Please. Please stay. And that one gonna make its way into the second cut. Okay. It's fine now. Here, fine now. He's got a time I cannot believe that. Holy shit. We are lucky. I just underswung it. It would have actually been so perfect if I didn't underswing it. It was right on plane. Right on line, and Cantley, of course, is going to make a birdie. It's one way to make a birdie, I guess. That's one way to make a birdie. Oh, they take me out, put me closer. Always nice. I hate when they do that, though. It really does bother me. I feel like I'm getting away with one. I feel like it's a cheap shot. Great pitch. Great pitch. Perfect distance. Tap in birdie here. Tap in birdie at the par 5. We're not going to gain one on Cantley probably because he's going to make this, I assume. Um, they usually birdie the par 5s in the most roundabout ways ever. Like, they'll hit a shocking tee shot, lay up, put it close, make a birdie. It's usually what happens. That's what happens here again. We're going to have to gain our shot somewhere else. We're still two shots back, but... Uh, it's gonna be hard to it's gonna be hard to gain on him. It's gonna be really hard to gain on Cantley. Like sticking with him is one thing, but actually gaining on him is another thing entirely. Because he just makes the putts. He does when he when he looks like he's in trouble, he's actually not. You know, it's like you can't do anything against it. Like I've been making a lot of birdies and I haven't gained on a single one of them really in recent memory at least. And there's another great iron shot. And he's probably going to make a birdie from there. That could be really good. Oh, yeah. Sit. Sit! Great shot. Great shot. Just off the green, but great shot. It's going to be putting still. I think it's a really difficult putt is the problem. All right, Cantley. Let's see if you're going to really get stupid now. Let's see if Cantley is going to get stupid at the Masters to get to 20 under. And we haven't even started round four yet. Patrick Cantley leaves it short. It was in the jaws. We have a chance to get back one back again now. Come on. Oh, we have a chance to get one back. It is above at my feet. I can't see the break, though, is the problem, but I do think it breaks quite significantly. It's downhill, but not by much, really. So I'm going to play for that much break. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. How does that not go in? It was in the jaws like two foot out. It looked like it was going to be right in the middle of the hole and it just lacked the pace at the end. I can't believe that didn't make it in there. Oh, two shots back, two to play. I cannot believe that. Wow. Wowee. That's, that's honestly heartbreaking. Come on, man. What is this? What is this life? What is this little life? Patrick Cantley smashes it up there. Lovely stuff. Lovely, Earl. And well done, Patty. Patty, Patty, ice man. Two holes left. We got to make that something special happen if we want to be leading the tournament. If we want to be within within a couple, we probably need to finish at least one under for the last two if we want to stay two back. Because I have a feeling Cantley's going to birdie at least one of the last two. 
Maybe well, both. <laughs> he's going to be 20 under. He's going to be 20 under realistically. All right. That's that's the the vibe I get is that he's going to be 20 under at the end of this uh, round here. And that's a good looking strike. It's way long. Oh my goodness me. What the hell was that from Patrick Cantley? And hopefully that puts him in a bit of bother. He'll probably put it to 20 foot and make the putt though. That's what I'm call. I'm calling it now. He's going to put it to 20 foot and make the putt. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm confident in that, in that prediction. All right. Watch this. we go oh yeah oh yeah i said watch this and i meant it it's a beauty it's a beauty on 17 and maybe if we could have a two-shot swing it would be absolutely massive but can't lay yeah see he's gonna make that one i'm telling you i knew he's gonna put it like somewhere 15 20 foot and make the putt that's usually what they do when they they hit one big offline if this doesn't go in i'll be shocked i'll be shocked if this doesn't go in Yep. Oh, yeah, Always yeah. happens. Excellent. Like you can you can predict what they is gonna do pretty much. Like you can predict what they're gonna do most of the time. Alright, this is the gain one on him still though. So you don't need to worry about that. Don't underread it this time. Yes! We're within one! One to play. We're within one. We're tied with Aaron Badley. I'd love to be at least tied for the lead heading into the final round, man. That would be awesome. We head to Holly. We head to 18. We're going to be playing with Patrick Cantley in round four. No doubt about it. No doubt in my mind now that we're going to be playing with him. That's so good. That is so, so good, Turlock. Come on. That is what we need all day, baby. I'm six under par for the round. It's a really solid round of golf. Let's see your drive, pussycat. Come on, Cantley. I want to see a stinker from Patrick here. No, it's perfect. It's absolutely perfect from Patrick, and he leaves himself a glorious little opportunity here to get it on the green and walk off with a birdie at the final hole. We both have a good opportunity to get it close here. Come on, let's do it. Which is this pin? Is this the back, le uh, back left pin? Because I find that to be the toughest one, to be quite perfectly honest. It is that one. I hate this pin. That's not getting up there, though. Oh, it is. Easily, too. Wow, okay. I'm surprised that thing come back down. 24 foot, he's gonna make that, dude. I'm telling you right now, Patrick's gonna make that. It's too long. Actually, that's pretty good. That's pretty damn good, in fact. What a putt. What a putt. What a putt? What a shot. <laughs> the putt hasn't happened yet. Maybe it's a premonition. I hope we have that to tie the lead, though. If Cantley makes this, this is just going to ruin it. <laughs> he's, he's made it. Oh, that is a beauty in for Birdie here at the last. It's a nine and under round from Cantley. It's a nine under round fucking round from Cantley, dude. Now this, uh, another yeah. birdie. It's hard to believe, really, isn't it? It's a dead straight putt for me, honestly. I feel like this breaks to the left. But none of the lines show that, so I guess I'm going to hit it straight. I don't know, man. I feel like this is a mistake, but we got to do it. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I kind of moved it a tiny bit right because I was like, you know what? I think... I didn't think I moved it outside the cup, though, is the thing. I don't believe I've done that. Two shots off the lead, boys, heading into the final round. Patrick okay, Cantley so put on an absolute right. clinic of the highest caliber, but we weren't too far behind him. We tried our valiant best to keep up. Aaron Badley, John Ho, and Patrick Cantley ahead of me. It's a 65 for us. It's a 63 for Patrick Cantley. And that is a cruel, cruel twist of fate there that Cantley makes that one on the last. Of course he does, man. Of course he does. We're going to be chasing Cantley in the final round, and I assume we're going to be playing alongside him. Let's just double check that. Yeah, we're playing with him. Fuck, I was hoping we might, somehow might not be. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the near future. It's been my pleasure to serve you all. We'll be back with the final round of the Masters, trying to hunt down Patrick Cantley in the next one. I'll see you guys then. We need to hope that he plays worse than he did today, or else we've got no chance. See you next time. Keep the flag flying, boys.